Now, Susan had a box of blue beads and red beads in the ratio of 7 is to 13. She removed an equal number of blue beads and red beads from the box. The ratio of the number of blue beads and red beads left in the box became 1 is to 3. What percentage of the beads were left in the box? Okay, so the main thing here is that because there's equal that's being removed, all right, so is there any change? What thing remains the same? Yes, correct. So some of you put difference unchanged. Very good. Okay. Because let's just say if I'm going to put it into a in value instead, let's just say if I have 10 blue and you have 5 red, our difference is 5, right? Now, if I were to remove 2 from my side and you remove equally 2 from your side, I will become 8 and you'll become 3. Our difference is still 5. Okay. So when it's equally removed, our difference remains the same. Therefore, over here, if I were to put it into the start change and critical model inside, all right, I will realize that my difference, okay, I should be making it then the same. All right, see the blue and the red, the difference is six units and the leftover is two parts, right? Now I put parts here because this is not my final units. Therefore, I use it to differentiate out. Now, if I were to put the two parts into six units, convert to six units, I can see now my difference is the same. Is the same. And therefore, in between my change is equal units for units. Okay. Now, some people will be like, how do I convert it into a percentage when there is no value number given for number of bits, right? So what you can do is you work with the number of units. Okay. So you can see total blue plus red is 13, 9 plus 3, right? 12, sorry, 12. Okay, 12 units. And total, I have 20 units. So 12 over 20 times 100% gives me 60%. That's how I solve my question, okay?